So now in this video, we're going to make a current sink using an N-channel JFET. Now, anything that sets a current is commonly called a current source. So even though it's not technically sourcing current, we may still call this a current sink, but technically, uh, we may call it a current source, I mean, but technically it's a current sink. Now JFET stands for Junction Field Effect Transistor, and they normally conduct and the uh, voltage to the gate actually limits the current and you have to get below the uh, negative uh, supply here in this case when it comes to the uh, source so that's ground you actually have to get a negative voltage to the gate to turn it off fully but uh, putting ground directly to the gate gives us if the uh, ground is also directly to the source our current DSS so that's drain and then source source because the source is going directly to a supply rail and uh, so they tend to double up letters when it's going to a supply rail but in any case it's really uh, this simple so we're going to use the J310 here and so unlike the uh, transistors I've been using of late the gate the control pin is on the right side of the transistor when you're looking at the flat side instead of the middle so that's something to be aware of and uh, we'll rotate it this way so that the drain is on top and then the source is uh, below it but it's directly below it also we can add a resistor from source to uh, ground to lower the amount of current so we uh, will look at that over there so we're putting the gate the very bottom pin to ground the uh, source middle pin directly to ground and the uh, drain up here we have a gap between there because we're going to measure the current so this is an important number you'll see this on data sheets but this number also is variable so for this particular transistor we can expect somewhere between 24 to 60 milliamps of current with this test that we're going to do right now and so that's for the J310 so there's other JFETs out there they'll have a different range of uh, current so I have it set to uh, milliamps right there this meter you can just leave the red probe in that spot unless it's high current but some meters you may have to move it so what I'm going to do is put the uh, red probe directly to this jumper which goes to the positive rail I have the power supply set to 5 volts right now by the way and uh, there we go we have about 34 milliamps of current and it is changing though as the temperature of the component changes so that's something to be aware of it will get less hot with a load and at some point it will stabilize so since we looked at that there uh, we'll pull back and uh, this lamp is in a really bad spot there we go much better so we have uh, 5 volts as you can see there Let's uh, bump it up to uh, 10. We had about uh, 34 milliamps, I believe, before, and now it should be uh, the same for the most part. But it's going to get warmer quicker, probably, so it'll probably change slightly there. At some point, it'll level off. But there you can see we had, even though we doubled the uh, voltage, current uh, pretty much stayed the same. That's the main takeaway. So now I'm going to just shuffle this over here. Now we have a uh, resistor where the uh, source is so instead of a direct connection from source to gate now we have a resistor going to a ground but then it's going to the gate and uh, so that's going to limit uh, current let's go back to 5 volts although I did this test earlier and 5 volts is going to be a little bit shy of uh, what we're going to need so there you can see the uh, pins a bit better that we have there so I'm going up to the drain I am bypassing the LED I'm not uh, connecting to the LED I did that wrong I have to go up to the positive supply there we go now to the drain so there you can see 12.82 uh, volts and if I go to the LED it's about the same it's a little more off than I would like so what I'm gonna do still remember though that 12.8 what I'm gonna do is double the supply voltage again because this should not depend on voltage but of course you need enough voltage for what 
everything is going to uh, use up. So there we go, we went to uh, 10 volts. Now I'm going to bypass the LED, just go to the uh, drain. There you can see 13.9, so it changed a little bit. I think that's just due to the massive voltage change, but it's still pretty close to spot on. And there you can see uh, we're really close now to the same amount of current. So it's not a perfect current source, but there you can see it's, it's really close. It's like 13. And as it warms up, you can see when I go directly to it, it's warming up quicker. It is changing quicker. So there's a few uh, minor things to know about this. But otherwise, if you need a current source, I grabbed this uh, J310 from the uh, Joe Nose Electronic Semiconductor Kit. Here's the uh, baggie that it came in. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, Joe Nose Electronics is kind of faded there. But that's the semiconductor kit. I link it all over the place on my stuff because I really love this kit. It has a bunch of different uh, semiconductors. And as an Amazon affiliate, if you click those links that I post, then uh, Amazon lets me know what people bought after clicking my link. They don't give me any personal information though. And I get a small percentage of uh, quite a bit of uh, stuff that people buy. So that helps me out and they don't raise the price if you use that link. So uh, you don't lose anything by using it instead of just going directly to Amazon. So I'm going to turn the meter off to make sure it's off. Especially when you measure current, you want to get it off of measuring current. Off is preferred if your meter has an off dial. If it just has a power button, it's good to set the meter to voltage so that uh, when you go to measure something, you have less chance, almost no chance of damaging it if it's set to voltage, whereas you have a good chance of blowing a fuse or something if it's milliamps. So I try to mention that in almost every multimeter video that I do. It's a good thing to remember. So, in any case, check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. And uh, I link to a Patreon, but sometimes it just goes to the generic Patreon page for some reason. But I try to always put my uh, Patreon link on there. And uh, so, especially if you see my image, uh, check that out and donate if you can. That would help out a lot. I will see you in the next video.